Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Awakening with me, Get Daved. Um, there's trouble. There's trouble in the city. Not here. Here's on lockdown. Everything's going fine. Uh, I could consider dropping back a bunch of my units to form a ring around Tiki. Um, man, she doesn't even have her dragon stone. I think we're past that point, though. Speed 19, 18. Okay, we're just going to have to hope for the support here. Actually, I probably should have done the drop back. Yeah. Attack 33. Attack 37. Okay, that one's the greatest threat. And Krom is sadly one step short of where he needs to be. Yeah, we could take... What is it? Eight units? Seven units? To make the ring around her that we need. Starting to regret the strategy I've chosen. And it's prob- well, is it too late to drop back to that? Or a modified version of it? Let's see here. Sorry, guys. Smell you later. Oh, and she has rally speed, does she not? Rally movement, plus one movement to all units. There we go. If we go here, we get the chance of a support. If we go all the way in. Yep, I'll just kill him outright. Thank you very much. Okay. This actually frees up Krom to greatly reduce the threat from the other side, and we probably won't lose it all on one turn now. Okay, we're going to move Krom there. Let's see. Okay, so as I feared, he's probably only going to get one attack. We didn't get the support last time, so... I don't love it, but we're just going to have to take the guaranteed kill. Would have been... <laughs> whatever. If I'd known he was going to do that. Alright, we actually probably only need to cut down the movement a little bit to make things work. Okay, it's a Pegasus Knight, so zapping with 11 sword is absolutely not going to work. Yeah, we hope for the support attack, I guess. This is what we're saving Celica's for. There we go. Well, at least we got one. Okay, Tiki's taking one attack. Please, no more reinforcements. There's so many. Now it's only gonna work if I can create a complete wall. Dang. 
Dang it. It's fine, we get another kick at the can or so. Krom can't actually reach the spot I would like him to stand on. Okay, let's see if we'll just cut him down. Only with the weapon triangle on her side. Oh my goodness. Man, remember when I didn't take a healer? Alright. Donnie can get into position. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm getting the shield up. We can make that happen. The problem is that we have no support going on. And they're also really likely to get overwhelmed. So we dance. That'll give Samia the chance to bridge a bunch of them. Most of the attacks are going to come from this side. Oh, no, that's not strictly true. Okay. So he is going to join this group together. And since Thari is not going to get there in time anyway, picking one off before she can get back is a fine and noble occupation. Also, you know what? On the off chance that I have to dispatch the enemy commander... Oh, what a shame. Okay, we'll try the killer bow, I guess. Does this one ha- no? Okay. We'll try the killer bow. It's our only chance for a kill. He's missed every single crit so far. Come on! We're just going to do this with him, and we might have Gaius try running down their leader. Because why not? Who's my last remaining unit? Oh, Krom! Right, Mr. Can't get in position. Um... He doesn't have the parallel Falcon on hand. Just gonna try the Swaparoo. And it's a sword, or pardon me, the Falcon. This is just the normal one. And I already finished convoying, so I can't check. Whatever, we've got a kill. Uh, there is a Worm Slayer weapon. Forgot to check if I had one on hand. Alright. Brace for impact. That was actually a good thing. Good. That was also pretty good. Considering our general lack of healing, this is nice. <laughs> it's really neat. Oh, this is agony inducing. Oh, hey, rank A. Okay, he's got a tamarhawk. Tamarhawk. Oh, neat. Repair a thing. Uh, 36 damage coming back his way. Probably not a great investment. Just 
Just out of curiosity, what can you do to him, guys? Besides get killed. Alright, we're just gonna keep Gaius right where he is for a minute. Thar is gonna have to kick things off. Kill the voice. That's fine. That's what she's there for. Defense of 23, she's there to take the tough first hit. Honestly, we'll just cut him down with a sword. I wonder what that skill the leader has means. It don't matter. <laughs> Voice. Nyarf. Eh. Hammer time. All right. This is kind of nice. We get a little bit of a chip damage. It might push one of my mid-tier units uh, into killing range at least. Okay. Where to begin? Guaranteed kill? I'll take it. Lucina can dispatch one of the Griff or uh, Wyvern, Wyvern riders really easily, so. Yeah, 84 damage. That's enough. She's pretty much your best bet for a Wyvern killing unit in the entire game. I mean, she could heal herself with Parallel Falcon, but the need has not arisen. Alright, we're gonna have Sumia do a chip attack here. This is to... Oh, wow. Uh, get her off of a magic weapon, because... Everyone there is Dark Flyers, so they and Falcon Knights, they've got magic defense. Oh, I don't want Olivia to support. Okay, we can actually move her here. This will suffice. Yeah, I was a little mistaken in my diamond formation, so the rationale for it is most of the enemies have long-range weapons, so we can't simply plunk four units around her and actually protect Tiki. We have to, you know, actually distribute our units a little bit. No units with range three, though. That's super rare. I think the only range three weapon in the game is actually the longbow, which is a bit of a change in... Some of the older older Fire Emblem games, or I guess Echoes is newer as it's remade. Um, a unit with like four range is pretty common. Not just exists, it's really, really typical. Really enjoyed having Sayri in the party. Didn't use her much in my uh, first or second playthrough. I was on the, the long queue train the first time. Four units, four enemies. Alright. Make it happen, Cordelia. Do I risk opening the formation up is the question. Just stab it to death. Okay, one down. Six damage incoming, that's nice and low. Yeah, we'll stick to sword play here. We're planning on them not getting another turn, so I'm not gonna 
He's not gonna worry about healing. Okay. This will give us access to our better weapons. Ah, darn it. Okay, we're gonna have to, we have two shots at the kill then. One is the crit, and the other is the support. Um, you know, between the two of them, it's about a coin flip. Well, that's nice. It's nice when these things work out like that. You know, I broke the formation and everything. It's fine, they can cut down her. Great success. All right, buckle up, everyone. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> there it was. Get Dave and Cordelia, best friends forever. Ritual complete in party. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. I'm super strong. Yes. Okay. I have not played the game she's from originally. But don't you see? <laughs> Yay! Welcome to the party. Let's do that. And we probably have some support conversations after that. Oh wow. And three Annas to visit. Let's see what she's got. Sail on Arkwind. I'll, I'll, I'll buy that. Take your time. I'd buy that for a thousand and three dollars. Not gonna bother with the elixir though. Even though I have sixty-five thousand dollars. Uh, short axe on sale, maybe. Okay, I'm. A, I'll. I I love a bargain. Arcfire is one that we're using soon. And discount, yeah. Fine, we'll be burning through lots of silver swords, so. We don't use enough archers to justify picking up that silver bow, though. All right, and support. Only the one. Listen. Well met. That's suspicious. Haha, <laughs> you and I, you, you're madder. What? Oh. The skeptic. Hey, if it's part of a pre-game ritual, hey, it's fine. I need them. But, well, no. <laughs> nice. Here goes. That's right. To a certain extent, if it's part of your pre-battle ritual or whatever, I mean, it becomes... Right. You know, if it gets the nerves down, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Mathers of perception, um, you know. These things just become true. All right, um. You know what, we got an awkward amount of time left, so let's just see if we can burn through a couple items. Uh, is there anyone who needs an arm scroll? So this is going to promote their weapon skills. Uh, someone like Tharia might benefit from it because she has two. I mean, really, Frederick is where you're getting the real value for it. No character has more than three weapon types, I think. So if there were someone who's struggling to get to the next promotion level, like, you know what? Let's let's do with, do this on Gaius. 
So you didn't save a ton of time. If we wait until, for example, Sumia levels up, we can get her to B rank really easily. And it would be almost worthless to use on Virion right now, because he's likely to A rank right when he hits level 20. That looks like there's about... If you look at the little gauge, there's a B. Looks like there's probably only a couple more ticks left in it. Oh. Uh, what else we got? Luck plus two? Eh. Speed plus two, now we're talking. Energy drop. Can raise strength. I actually gave a bunch to Krom because he was lagging so far behind in that regard. Um, like, I gave him, yeah, I think three. And he's still almost as strong as the tactician. Which is fine. Uh, we'll give Sumia a little bit of strength. I use her really consistently. We also have the ability to gain five hit points to someone. I think... I think Maribel is our best candidate for that. Even though I don't use her a bunch, if I ever did, she'd get destroyed in one hit. Noe is actually fine. If I were using her, I mean, she, um, she'll level up really well. Okay, so a Dragonstone, or in this case a Dragonstone Plus, you can buy both eventually. Gives you all those bonuses to your stats. So if she doesn't get weapons, she gets that. So really bumps her up to be a lot more competitive. Straight 20s across the board, basically. If we took off that weapon, her rating would plummet. Like, what, 40 points? And if Sully could ever level up to catch up with everyone else, she'd be fine for stats. I'm just looking at the units that I do typically use. I've bumped up Krom's resistance a whole bunch. Ah, uh, you know, I don't think I have a Draco shield. No. If I could give resistance to Kiel, I'd go for it. And Donnie. I mean, they're pretty low across the board, to be honest. Lysina, fortunately, naturally got some on her own. Really terrible luck stat on a couple of these units. Donald is one who would benefit, like, the most from that, but he's already taken care of in that regard. Yeah, maybe we'll just leave it at that. We'll see if new patterns emerge. But anyway, it's one thing you can do to sort of make up for bad level ups or shore up for weaknesses. So, like for Krom, who no matter what will always have a terrible resistance stat. We, uh, we took care of him. Alright, see you all in the next episode, everybody. And we're gonna go... Wait. Take your time. Where is it? There we go. I just broke one. All right, in the next episode, the Valm Castle Approach. I'll see you there.